In this video, I'll show you how to customize your WooCommerce thumbnail size. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is our default image thumbnail size, and I'm currently using a Divi theme. This will look different based on the theme that you're using, all right? So to customize the thumbnail size, we'll just navigate over to Theme Customizer, and then we'll navigate over to WooCommerce and then Product Images. And then here, we'll see the width of our main image and also the thumbnail width as well. And then we can choose the cropping mode. All right, so we can do a one on one, which is a hard square, or we can do a custom one, all right, or even uncropped. So, for example, we can say 80 pixels width, and then here we can choose a cropping mode. So, we can choose one on one, meaning it will be a perfect square. Here, you can see the image is slightly blurred because by default, this isn't a squared image. So, here, WordPress is just doing a hard crop. We can do custom, right? So, we can change the aspect ratio. And this looks slightly better, or we can do it uncropped, and then this will allow it to keep its proportion. Let's actually increase the width, let's say 250 pixels, and we'll do a square. If we click on the product page, while I say here, we can also customize this image width as well. So if you don't see these two options, the main image width or the thumbnail width, it's most likely because your theme hasn't declared at that support, or maybe it's a plugin which is removing it, all right? So to clear that up, so I'll leave the link in the description below to a particular article that will give you some custom code that you can add to your theme file that will basically add the support for this main image width and also the thumbnail width as well. So once you're happy with your changes, just hit publish and then we can go ahead and browse our shop page just to double check everything's working as it should. Okay, and I'm happy with this. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.